So a small little, I <laughs> guys, I went to get a cut. So now, <laughs> you know, I'm part of that gang, <laughs> you know, the Afro side head guys, you know, bold bottom. <laughs> so I don't even know my size when I don't have hair. <laughs> You know, the side Afro gang. <laughs> on this video, we are talking about this video that Niger's Crazy has made a commentary on. And so you can go watch the video on their channel about uh, Muslims who are claiming that a chicken was sent by Allah to actually come and give them a message. I'll play you a small little part of the video. You can go watch the video on their channel and I'll be back here. <laughs> I wanted to just note one thing only. If you can take anything from that entire clip, just this one thing which is very important, which is the standard of truth. When a person has a very low standard for truth or what stands as truth, they are willing to accept anything. When the backing of everything else falls off and that one thing that feels like it validates your belief or whatever it is, you take it hook, line and sinker. Now, in I just created this video, they actually explained this thing to say the chicken is simply saying kukuru ku, and <laughs> to them they then kind of like uh, interpret it. It sounds close to their language basically, and so to them it meant that God something God is great or something like that. But we're not even entertaining that because after that they went to record the chicken. The chicken is still saying kukuru ku the way that we say. But you can hear the similarities in the wedding. Uh, I just don't understand how they convince themselves that. But if you consider this idea, when a person has a low standard of truth, they will accept anything. This is why churches uh, mostly flood themselves with miracles because it's a low level of understanding of God's power. When the Bible is very clear, the gospel, it is the power of God. But then they, these ministries, they come up and then they say, you know, the people are being healed, people are vomiting things, the power of God has been displayed. Like, do they know uh, the devil can do that? Uh, Beelzebub can do that. All of them can do that to convince you otherwise. But what is the power of God? It is in the gospel. It is in the conviction power of the gospel. But when you have a low standard of truth, this makes sense. This is why in Hebrews chapter number 1 verse 1 he says, In past times God spoke to us in many different ways, but now he speaks to us through Jesus. The standard is set. And so there is no other chicken spoke to me, I saw Jesus on a roaster, you know, all these all this shenanigans that you find from the Catholic Church and the Islamic faith. They are all, they like this kind of things. Uh, there was one particular one which they used to do with dogs and um, I think it's not dogs, I think it's cats or something like that. They said you could do something and the cat was sleep. I can't remember exactly what it was. Oh yeah, it was a Quran. Basically, they would put something and then they put something on the other side. And they said, even the Quran can, even the, the cat cannot step on the Quran. And it was like ridiculous. It, it's just a silly idea. It, but that's what happens when a person has a low standard of truth. They will accept anything for proof. They will accept anything as proof contrary to what the standard of truth is this is why this may be one of the first questions that uh, you ask a person who is actually an unbeliever it's the very same thing that i was asking when Loiso, the gentleman who, who acts on the queen was saying that ah oh, you know god is what not uh, you know the truth you are born with it and whatnot and i said what then is the standard of truth because i might not agree with what you say but the standard of truth being the bible we can both agree on what it says and so when a person doesn't have that, the standard of truth is right at the bottom. This is why Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the truth. Notice he didn't say, I know the truth. Uh -uh. 
Uh -uh. He is the truth. This is why last week we were also, I'm getting into a lot of this is why. <laughs> now you see why I don't like writing scripts, kind of just hit it off the top. So this is why when you listen to us last week, when we were talking about the Shabbat, very great section that we had, we mentioned this, uh, this bottom. Christ is, Christ is our Shabbat. Okay, Christ is our rest. Basically, that's what we were meaning. And uh, a verse was highlighted to say that, you know, the Shabbat was actually a way for God to sanctify. And we're like, yeah, that's what Christ is here to do, to sanctify his body, to separate us from things. So he becomes the standard. And though there's nothing lower than that or other outside of that. But if you have a very low standard, that a chicken crawling allows you to believe something, uh, you and that truth, be, uh, deserve, you deserve each other. <laughs> you deserve each other. <laughs> you deserve each other. Uh, you know, I personally, I, I wouldn't force the truth on you. I'll just state it as the way it is. You accept it, that's your decision. You don't accept it, that's your decision in other ways. I'm not here to convince, to convince uh, a person that Christianity is the truth. No, I'm telling you what I believe what I've put my life on. It has a backing and the backing I can validate. Not a chicken crawling. But anyway, Zerki, it's a reality show. Other videos done today, they'll be done in the pinned comments. Uh, sorry for bringing this episode uh, a little bit late, a little bit of a hectic day, and I'll see you later. Y'all be good. Check the other videos. Salute.